Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley in the UK. Thank you for joining me this morning. It is, would you believe, Monday the 28th of February. Um, <clears throat> so it's the last day of celebration for us here at Stamping Up. And that means that's the last opportunity to get any of the celebration items for free for a 45 pound spend. And also the option to join our team and get a great deal in terms of not only the products, but also um, being part of our team and the companionship and the support and the fun that we have. Morning Catherine. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was lovely to see you at class on Saturday. Hope you enjoyed it. So um, I'm just going to do a very quick reminder then what celebration is about. And then um, we're going to be using this fun little stamp set today called Cactus Cuties, as you can see. Um, makes great little cards. It's just £16, this stamp set. Let's move it out of the light. And it also has a matching punch that punches out some of these elements as well. So a really good, fun little set. So Monday morning again. Weekend went really quickly. Um, busy with classes on Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. Um, so morning Jeanette and good evening to Kerry. So just very quickly um, for anybody who hasn't caught me recently, celebration finishes today. So any order you place over £45, you can choose um, any of these free items. So we have the Island Vibe stamp set. We have those lovely daffodil papers that we used last week I know you can't really see a great deal of those um, on our little brochure you can get the free catching butterflies stamp set and then we've got driving by that was particularly popular um, with the cars and <coughs> the camper van and also the rainbow paper that we used last week and then finally the Simply Marvellous um, papers with the marbling that we use for quite a few different cards and awesome otters, those cute little otters. And then if you spend £90 you could choose this Friendly Hello stamp set with the matching papers and we used those a few weeks ago, um, both the papers and the stamps. And then we also have the free special moments, which is a whole series of sentiments. I think there are 21 sentiment stamps in there altogether. And then finally, if you placed a large order, you could claim the Calming Camellia stamp set. Now I do have a, um, a draw going on for this stamp set. So if you have joined a class, if you've placed an order or if you join my team you will get um, an entry into my prize drawer so I've got three of these stamp sets up for grabs um, one for each of those categories and I'll be drawing those later today um, so I might draw those um, either this evening or tomorrow just in case there's any last minute um, entries so that's the Carmen Camellia one that we did with the whitewash technique recently and then finally, if you want the best deal, then you can join Stamping Up, become uh, one of our team. You can buy for your own use at a discounted rate, literally from, um, I was going to say day one, but there is actually a seven day cooling off period. Um, so for £99, you get £130 worth of Stamping Up products of your choice, plus on top of that, two free stamp sets. 
and that enables you to join our team be part of our really fabulous supportive community join in with events get a discount um, and just meet with like-minded people so if that is of interest and you haven't approached me then um, just give me a a comment or a nod and I'll um, furnish you with more information all of that information is on my website you can just go to geminicrafts.co.uk and look for the buttons across the top whether it's placing an order or joining our team so here we are cactus cutis fun little set you can find it on page 66 of the catalog it has a matching punch and that is here and that punch punches out this bowl these two pieces of cactus and the little flower as well and it punches them out um, without a border um, so that's a little bit different sometimes we have borders around our images so for today I'm just going to do some straight stamping and that's what we're doing at coffee and card uh, this afternoon in toaster stamp set is 16 pounds so it's well priced and I'm just going to be using some note cards and envelopes. So I'm just going to use a couple of sheets of basic white. And I have got some googly eyes. So um, unfortunately, Stamping Up don't do these anymore. And I'm desperately trying to think what they came out with. I think it must have been a Christmas or Halloween. So it must have been a Christmas catalogue. Um, so we had white backgrounds. We've got purple we've got yellow and we've got green backgrounds they're not self adhesive so we did you do have to use some glue um, but most craft stores and things will sell um, googly eyes okay so let's give this a go I'm looking for my sample um, but of course I can't find it so we'll just do one from scratch to get you going so these are nice and easy they're photopolymer stamps so you can see exactly where you're stamping so let me just load up a couple of these and there's two cent uh, three sentiments there's just a note which if you've been following me for a while you know that I love because you can use that any occasion you know just a note to say congratulations just a note to say hi just a note to say I'm thinking of you any of those so let's just start with this one nice and simple and I've got an assortment of nice bright colors let's get a larger block for that one so I hope everybody had a nice weekend the weather here this weekend was lovely we've had a bit of rain this morning I noticed but it's quite nice and bright now Okay, so I'm going to start with the pot at the bottom and I do like to use cinnamon cider it makes a really nice terracotta coloured pot but obviously these pots could be any colours and the um, cactuses, really any shades of, um, it's right, it's got a bit of something tucked in there, any shades of greens, browns, and then the flowers, sort of any which colour you want. Okay, so let's just ink this up. So this is cinnamon cider, and I have got a stamping mat underneath, just to give it a little bit of, um, A little of a sponginess. The sponginess is not the word I want, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's ink this up. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit and then I can put my sentiment underneath. So just going to stamp my pot like so. And then I'm going to use this sort of double cactus here 
I have no idea what the names are, so I'm not even going to try. So I've got Granny Apple Green for this one. But really, you could use any any of the greens that you've got at home, really. So this is Granny Apple Green. I need to take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just centralising and slightly overlapping so that I don't have a gap in between the two. But if you did, you could use a pen to put in a little bit of, um, that would look like soil or sand, or you could use um, an aqua painter to sort of bring down a little bit of uh, green from the stalk. So there's that. And now we're going to add on some <coughs> cute little flowers. I think I'm going to do Poppy Parade for these. And that's the nice thing about cacti and succulents as they, you know, there's all sorts of different colours, aren't there? Okay. And these can go... really any way you want them to there we go really simple and a little bit of fun i'm going to pop the just a note on the bottom i'm going to stamp it in our poppy parade let's see what that looks like yes it's a little bit light i can see i do need to re-ink it how many times do you hear me say that? Okay. Popping that on like that. There we go. Simple little card. Oh, I managed to get some ink on the block. So these are going to go onto a backing layer and then onto one of our note cards. And I've got some Poppy Parade here. So that can sit on there. Let's add a little bit of glue. And then you can add um, bling, you can add googly eyes. Now, if you've got the punch, of course, you could just punch out a shape for um, the cactus. You could punch out a shape for the card. And if you had um, some sort of spotty, <coughs> excuse me, patterned paper, um, that would be really good fun for the cactus. And a set that would go really well with this is Plentiful Plants. If you've got that stamp set or the coordinating papers. Looking for a bone folder. Which must be here somewhere. use the edge of the ruler this one okay 
anything so that can go onto there this would be a great fun for children to play with I think coming up with all sorts of different um, cactus shapes there we go so there's that one there and you could stamp the cactus inside as well if you wanted to and you could stamp one obviously on the envelope let's have a look at one of the other designs so I'm going to use this one and this combination here let me pop these back So I'm going to have this bowl and this one here and then okay so I could go a different colour for our bowl so I'm thinking we could do um, maybe Bermuda Bay, nice bright blue. So let's pop this back underneath and see what this looks like inked up. Yep, got a tiny little dot or something and it looks like hardly anything on the stamp but you can just see it well I can just see it so I hope you're well Jeanette and have had a good weekend loved your cards that you shared that you've done in our class in a box so thank you for sharing those that's uh, one here okay and this time I'm going to use I think golden green for our cactus really deep one this is the one that's got the dots obviously look like little dots or spikes blocks are really a little bit too big for this one it's got a gem on it as well okay so, it's bringing that just down a little so we don't have a gap. And then we've got this little one here that you can sort of build onto. So, let's do. let's put another one on top of that one there you go so you can just build that up as much as you want as I say the children would have great fun with that wouldn't they doing you know all sorts of bits and pieces and then let's add the flower onto that um, let me see I might go for a coastal cabana so it coordinates with our a little bit. Let's make sure I've cleaned that off. No, I hadn't from the red. That was lucky. Otherwise, I would have had red in my coastal cabana. Okay. Have 
two on this one. Could put another one on there. Why not? So you can just have a little bit of fun with it. Like so. And let's put a sentiment at the bottom. I think I'm going to keep the same just to know because I just think that's really cute. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay for that one. And as I said, this would be great for old and young, really. It's, um, you know, quite timeless as well, isn't it? A little bit of fun. some layers for that so I've got a Muda Bay layer set that off really nicely and then let's grab card and envelope and I think this one is going to have googly eyes on why not okay let's move that out of the way so this is from our note cards and envelopes. So this is a perfect size for small little cards. <coughs> it's three and a half by five inches. So just a little bit smaller uh, than a standard card, which is approximately six by four. And it comes in a pack of 20 with envelopes. So you've got everything you need ready to go. Let's put these layers together. But I think I am going to just... Stamp maybe this little cactus on the inside. Let's do the envelope as well. have both layers on the envelope. Morning Karen. How are you? I hope you're well. I've got a little hair on there I can see. I'm just going to put the cactus itself on the envelope without the pot. Give the postman something to smile about, wouldn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? So I used Coastal Cabana, didn't I, for the little flowers so that was the one that we oh no that's the one we just made Karen so cute and then this was the one we made earlier so coastal cabana Okay, let's 
let's move those out of the way. And layer these up together. So I'm just using wet glue for this, our Tombow glue, <coughs> but you could use tear tape, double sided tape, snail, seal, tape runner, anything you fancied really. So the sizes of these, I'm afraid, are in inches. <gasps> So the white card is three inches by four and a half. The coloured card is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then that fits our three and a half by five. So it's half, half a centimetre difference between each layer, which gives you just that narrow sort of two and a half, in, um, two and a half millimetre border. Yes, you would, Catherine, you're quite right. She'd have great fun with that, wouldn't she? I hope she enjoyed herself on Saturday. Oh, bless you, Karen. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really good, fun, fun little set. And I do like the other sentiment as well that says, hope your day is on point. Plus, you've got other little, um, you've got another pot and some leaves and this really does go well with plentiful plants so for example if you had this um, stamp set as well you could really mix and match you can mix the pots up you can mix the leaves and things up with those pots you could add bits and pieces and also the papers so what I am going to do is have a look um, after this session for some dotty papers that we could use to punch out cactus um, from. So let's add some googly eyes onto this one. So I think it probably needs to be white. As I say, sadly these are retired from stamping up. Good few years now. I haven't put the date on, but a good few years. But most people have probably got googly eyes, <laughs> or you could get them at your local craft store. So. It's fun, isn't it? So, because those aren't self adhesive. I'm just going to pop a dot of glue onto my card here and here and then drop them onto it. You don't really want to be trying to put them on the back of here. Glue dot would work actually if I thought about it. So I'm going to put one on and then the other and then I'm just going to move them around. <laughs> um, I might try. <laughs> there we go. Right. So just applying a bit of pressure, now I've got them where I want them, like so, there he is, <laughs> cute, okay, so there's that one there, and the other thing you could do is add some bling, <laughs> thank you Jeanette, oh really, oh good, <laughs> So you could add some bling onto these. So I've got some red. You could use anything really that you've got. Let's pop <coughs> some of these on. If you've got larger ones, you could use those as flowers as well. I'm just going to pop a couple of these on. Uh, 
they look a bit like eyes now. Oh, perfect. Yes, I need to have a hunt through my current one and see what I've got. So there we are, two little fun Cactus Cuties cards. So this is what we'll be doing at Coffee and Card this afternoon, if you're able to join us in Toaster. So we've got this one here and this one here. And obviously we've got our little cactus on the inside and a fun little envelope for this one. Okay, so thank you so much for joining. Just a reminder for anybody who didn't join us right at the start, it's the last day of celebration today. So your last opportunity to get any of the free stamp sets or papers that are in the celebration catalogue which is here so 28th of february um i have a draw today for anybody who places an order or who has joined a class or joins my team um for to win the carmen camellia so um, i've got three sets to give away one for each of those um sessions so class in a box um, coming to class, placing an order or joining our team, you get entered into a draw for that free stamp set. Um, and all the other ones are mostly ones that I've used. I haven't actually used my Catching Butterflies uh, stamp set. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? There's so much to choose from. So the Rainbow Papers, and then we have the Marvellous Papers, the ot Awesome Otters. And then the daffodil and the um, daffodil papers that we used last week. And this one, which I haven't used, Island Vibes with the pineapples. So that all finishes today. If you want any more information about that, just message me. Um, and if you do want to place an order or join, um, the joining offer is £99 for £130 of product. And two free stamp sets on top of that. And you can just join the team for the discount and enjoy the company and the community. Um, that's, you know, worth it in, in leaps and bounds, I have to say. Face with lipstick. Oh, yes. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Because we're going to work for cacti. Yeah, that's true. Who knows? I could do my own thing. <laughs> yes, I should have had, well, I should have used glue dots, shouldn't I, Catherine? But I used a little bit of glue. And then, of course, these were just doing their own little thing. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I shall be back tomorrow, Tuesday, at 7pm. So I hope you're able to join me. I'll be doing more with the Cactus Cuties. Um, and I'll be introducing the punch and I'll go to go on the lookout for some little dotty papers um, or something that would work really well as punched images rather than a stamped. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, depending on when you're joining us. Um, so thank you for your time. I hope you like my fun little cards. Any questions or queries, don't hesitate to um, just pop a comment if you're watching on replay or on youtube where this gets uploaded to and you have any questions just pop a comment on and i'll monitor those on a regular basis thank you so much everybody do take care thanks for watching keep crafting <laughs>